morning guys, YouTube people. So, uh, yeah, it is Saturday morning. Um, yeah, I really don't want to talk about what's going on in the world because I don't really know what's going on. All I know is a lot of people are sick and I got a message this morning from a guy from work and he's basically saying that the railroad doesn't want any unnecessary personnel at work. So, and usually when they say that, that means they don't want, unless there's a derailment, like an emergency deal, like derailments, broken rail, broken whatever. Um, they basically don't want anybody at work, but we're trying to get that confirmed if that's what they're saying because it's all lawyer talk um i'll read some of the message i guess and maybe all you lawyers out there you guys can tell me what it means so it says up is announcing further measures to protect its employees to prevent the spread of coronavirus or covid19 until further notice up is restricting all non-essential company travel I don't know what that means. Access to system-wide facilities by non-essential visitors. Department heads are authorized to approve exceptions as appropriate to meet business needs. So I'm assuming <clears throat> uh, restricting all non-essential company travel. So all non necessary, I guess. Um, access to system-wide facilities by non-essential visitors. So basically saying that, like what I did a couple days ago, uh, maybe that's what it's talking about. Because I went to our local yard to update my computer. So, I don't know. I don't know what it means. I hate when they word stuff with stupid words. They just say... Don't come to work unless you have to, or don't go and visit people. I don't know. They just need to dumb it down. They know that they got a lot of railroaders and we're not smart. So they put it that way so that when you say, hey, I'm not coming to work, they could go and say, well, no, you're in trouble. Because that's not what it said. It said this, and you're not part of that. But anyway... So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Either way, I'm flying back to Portland on Monday. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos of people that have the virus or are sick. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe I don't have a heart. Maybe whatever, but. I guess I don't have a heart towards myself. But if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. That's just me. So, alright. Today, we are going to be doing some work on the chainsaws. So, I have these two plungers. Which were supposed to be... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A direct fit a direct replacement for the echo um, but like I said in the last video we received them from China which is what it is if that's you know that could be where they're from more than likely anyway so I'm gonna put this new one in uh, new plunger in here and I bought yesterday at Home Depot because we went, I went looking for Toilet paper. So, by the way, if you guys are in need of toilet paper, just check uh, the camping section of Walmart. Camping section of Walmart has toilet paper. Um, but anyway, so this is a grease gun, a grease thingamajigger. So, which this bar does not need, but this bar takes. So, either grease it here or here. Or both I think you're supposed to grease it here and here um, this is for the little bearing for the little cogwheel 
and this is for this portion I believe and then those are just I think factory holes to hold it on a rack or something or maybe some type of strengthening <clears throat> and you have the spot welds that are there that hold the two pieces together just like this one has all these spot welds so anyway this one really doesn't take the grease from what I see um, I don't really see an area to grease <clears throat> but I bought this anyway um, I think this was like five bucks five or seven bucks at a uh, Home Depot so, so power care two three zero two seven zero and then I bought this it's a file kit uh, sharpening eight piece field sharpening kit um, includes a five thirty seconds three sixteenths and seven thirty seconds round files round file guide flat file flat file guide hardwood handle and field carrying case so I'm not too sure what size chain this is um, I'm not sure if it's the smaller one but I know this is a 3 16 I'm pretty sure it's 3 16 um, but anyway I gotta sharpen this one uh, because it kept falling off or no sorry this one didn't fall off but um, I was cutting a uh, a tree out there or a bush and uh, it was like so covered in like sand and dirt like blown in dirt on the trunk itself that I think it dulled the blade or dulled the teeth <clears throat> um, I also looked into the carbide tipped ones and basically they're saying if you get a carbide tip and the carbide tip chips off or breaks um, Basically, you can't do nothing. So they're kind of pointless and worthless. Um, but these ones, however, uh, you can sharpen them. <clears throat> I want to say you can sharpen up to like 12 times, 12 to 15 times. You can sharpen the chains. And the carbides, they're just, <clears throat> they're, they're done when they're done. The carbide tips are soldered. So if they said if the chain gets hot enough, uh, <clears throat> the carbide tips will just fall off um, and they break and chip a lot um, but anyway and then you can't sharpen them so that's what I'll be doing today um, yeah I'm gonna do a, I don't know we'll see how difficult this is maybe I'll do this little plunger and sharpen this chain on a video and then I'll sharpen that chain on a video so Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, yeah, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram, fast 719 if you want. Um, you get more updates, better stuff when I'm traveling. Um, and, yeah, that's all I got. All right, guys, give me a like, subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Later.